Hello and welcome to another VCross unboxing today with the newest release Concord Diva set P13 and yeah I'm super excited for new VCross sets I I love the the artworks and the set design of the Dissona sets now this is the second set P12 was the first Dissona support set or like with this archetype and yeah for some reason in my head I thought Oh, we have, or oh, we will get three sets that support the Sona. I don't know why. I I did open the the next set in Japanese already, like set fourteen, and it's a it's a swimsuit set, so it's not a Sona set. It's not like this gothic emo girl vibe. And yeah, so this is the second and, as far as I know, the the last Sona set. I don't know if there is like more support in the future maybe there there will be like one or two cards more for the sona decks but as far as i know okay uh yeah this is the the last set and i have to admit i haven't built the sona deck so far like i have opened set 12 and yeah this is a beautiful he no not hirana it's hanayo with the flowers Beautiful. But yeah, I I wasn't lucky with my set 12 boxes since for deck building there is a, a bang signy you need for like most Dissona decks. Yeah, it's finally a, a green signy. But for my three boxes I I didn't pull a single one. So I felt like oh maybe maybe I shouldn't build a Dissona deck. But yeah, I, I will open, oh, we already have a pull. I will open more uh, V-Cross set 12 and even 13, even if I I don't need them for, for deck building. And okay, I don't complain. It's in the first pack, the LR hit, which is guaranteed. I think we still can get like a LRP or SRP or even like the, the question mark card. But yeah, in my Japanese box, maybe you have seen my live stream. I did pull the UR of this card and it's beautiful. I mean, like both, both versions are beautiful. I really, really love it. Like set design, character design. Ah, these releases are so beautiful. And yeah, even if I don't plan, I don't know if I, I want to build a Dissona deck. So far from the deck mechanics and yeah from the play mechanics i don't really feel like the need to to build a deck to be honest but yeah maybe when i when i open more 12 p12 i will try to get at least one more display but yeah let's see we have more very nice artworks deep freeze pure look besides mc lion pure look is my my favorite Elric. So very, very happy with uh, this set. Oh, who is she? Bane block, but it's Mew. So it's the cat Elric. Oh, I haven't seen this uh, this character artwork previously. Okay, and uh, a parallel foil of Mew. I love these parallels. So nice that we get in. In English, we get a foil card in every pack. This makes it really, yeah, really attractive for me to open V-Cross since I, I do like shiny cards a lot, really a lot. So currently, yeah, V-Cross is, is just my number one TCG. A beautiful looking remember here in this witch outfit. Tarset is Sona. Whenever the signet tags, if there is another Dishonor signet on your field, draw a card and discard a card. Oh, so yeah. She does the same and she has an enter ability. As long as the signet in front of this signet is frozen and has power 5000 or less, the signet gains assassin. Okay, that's not bad. That's really good. Like, I, I wanted to build a, a free stack. But sometimes the the freeze deck they struggle with like finishing the game. 
So of course it's nice to to freeze the opponent's signy and make him maybe like put him in, put them into the Enna or yeah at least he cannot attack with them. But yeah, sometimes they the decks cannot close the game since you you have to push through and yeah with these cards that get like assassin, uh, it's, it's really really nice to to close the game. Neo Musk. Okay, this perspective looks a little bit weird. And we get a peace card. So now I will try like to read the, the card. I also pulled like this love it. The Sona. Uh during your turn, other Dizona seeking on your field get plus three thousand power. That's not so interesting. During your turn, uh once per turn, when the Elric on your opponent's field grows. Put target card from your opponent's Enerzone into their trash. Okay, I, I was thinking for a second, why should my opponent grow an Elric? Because I was thinking about the center Elric, but uh, of course the opponent can grow the assist Elrics. And yeah, it's basically Enna, Enna Burn. And the enter ability, put two Dishonor cards from your Enerzone into your trash. Vanish target signal on your opponent's field with power 12k or less. It's okay. Nothing like really exciting. And the piece we get for zero cost. Is it still in focus? Yeah. Turn this card face down in the check zone and put the unknown code rule onto your field. If the unknown code rule put onto the field this way I would leave the field instead, it is removed from the game. Okay. Okay, I was thinking like, what are they talking about? What is unknown code rule? But it's it's basically the back of the card. Okay, this is something new. I think it's the first time that we get a double double sided uh, piece. And I like this artwork. It looks like a like a fallen angel or Lucifer. During your opponent's turn, this signy gains shadow. Whenever the signy attacks, draw a card or Enna shot one. Until the end of your next Enna phase, as long as the signy remains on the field, increase your center Elric's limit by two. So this will be like relevant. Maybe in the future when we get when we get to level four. Because I mean like you cannot cheat uh her on the field like this is a level three Signy. And as as far as I understand this card, I may be wrong. A high chance, but uh your center Elric already has to be level three. I think it works like this, but I I do have to to research what what actually can I do with this card, and we get a very nice looking mama. And funny the colors on her on her chest are like the the German flag, like black, red, and uh, yellow, gold. Flamboyant tactics. It's a he runner this time. If there are three Dishonor Signy on your field, vanish target Signy on your opponent's field. Or two. Oh, sadly, the the life burst effect says vanish target up to Signy. This makes the card a lot worse. Like, what is, the, the wording would just be vanish target Signy. And not it has not to be up. It would be a lot better. But yeah, before I forget it again, uh, you can get V-Cross cards and more from my partner store, Pokeboo. And if you use the discount code WeepSave5, you can also like save 5% from your first order. So yeah, highly recommend uh, Pokeboo. This is where I get my my boxes from. And yeah, super fast shipping. Like uh, Sometimes when I decide like I, I need more and he can... Uh, he can ship yesterday and today I received my package. So very, very fast. 
and yeah, always nice to, to buy from him. So we have Lupal, the Sona Phantom Beast. Looks like a creepy, creepy bunny girl. As long as the Signy has power 30k or more it gains. This Signy cannot gain abilities by your opponent's effect, okay. Whenever the Signy attacks, if Midoriko Dispersal 3 is on your field, vanish target Signy on your opponent's field with power that is half of the Signy power or less. And you can pay 1 Anna, the Signy gets 5k power until end of turn. Okay, I like the artwork. But I'm not really sure if I like the card this much. I don't know, it's not bad, the, the effect of like vanishing on attack. To get rid of like smaller, smaller signies. Or even bigger if you pump a lot of Anna into the card. Soul Spear, Deep Freeze. Lupa Sa what a name. Shufa Saburo, the Sona Phantom Spirit. Looks cute. More witch waifus. Always a fan of this design. Mew Purple Emperor. And Haiti. Yeah, there was like a, a mistake with the name. I think the name is written with A E. Not high, like not high, Haiti. So there was like a an error print. Beautiful artwork and the effect is at the beginning of your opponent's attack phase you may put the Signy on your field into its owner's trash and pay one white and two colorless Anna. If you do put target Signy on your opponent's field into its owner's trash. Beginning of your opponent's attack phase. Okay. Interesting. There's not a lot of interaction you can do like in your opponent's attack phase. Like usually you can just uh, grow your assist at rigs. I, I haven't read a lot of uh, effects that uh, trigger them. And action, you can tap it. The Signy gains constant. During your opponent's turn, the Signy gains shadow until the end of your opponent's next end phase. That's not bad as like a blocker and the life burst draw two cards the signy in your hand gain the signy in your hand gain a g this turn so yeah guards that's cool especially it's not just one signy it's the signy so against some acro decks like uh, hirana or um Ansh. They can attack multiple times in, in a turn. So you have to discard multiple guards. And this life burst makes all Signy guards. So you can, if you have enough Signies on your hand, you can prevent a lot of damage. Iona Full Moon. Uh, it's assist that can grow in the opponent's attack phase. Target Signy on your opponent's field gains. Whenever the Signy attack, it gets minus 12k power. Target Signy on your opponent's field must attack. Oh, okay. Interesting. And Hell's Gate is Sona. Gate Evil. Looks cool. Yeah, design-wise, I, I enjoy these sets so much. But yeah, I, I will try to get maybe, yeah, I I bought three boxes of this release. But I will try to get one more and one more of P12. But yeah, I already have to start saving again for, for the release in September. In September, there will, the, will be the release of set 12. Yeah, 12, 14. 12, 14 was very popular. Because it's a, a swimsuit set. It's a, yeah. Very, very nice set. Draw two cards and discard a card. Then vanish target level one signy on your opponent's field. If the card discarded by this effect is Dishona, instead vanish target vanish target signy on your opponent's field. For two. Okay. 
Okay, it's just a main phase card. I was thinking maybe we can use this in the opponent's turn or attack phase. But unfortunately not. So it's basically a, a draw one, since you have to discard one card, a draw one and vanish target Sydney. Or two. It's not super exciting, I guess. Dig dig. Okay. Tars again. Mew Blue Admiral. Coffee. Okay. My my type of Sydney. I love coffee. I need coffee to exist. Fingern Dishonor Jake General. Another interesting character design. Whenever the Signy attacks, if all the Signy on your field are Dishonor, add up to one target Signy from your inner zone to your hand. Hmm. Not bad, since like green has a lot of NR charge, and sometimes you you charge a uh, uh, Signy that you want, or of course maybe like a Signy from your field went into your into your inner zone. New carnival card, okay. Nanashi, I love this Nanashi design. Hope I can pull it in and foil. And Sash Snake. The, the artworks are just too good. Uh, when this this unboxing is live, I don't know if on the same day. I mean the the release date is the twenty eighth, so. Friday, I might go live with my other V cross boxes this evening or the next. I will probably announce it too. Oh, this looks so cool. There's Nanashi. Uh, I will announce it uh, in the community tab on on YouTube or on my Instagram. So yeah, maybe make sure to follow me on Instagram too. Sometimes I'm active there and share some behind the scene stuff or like some things that interest me. Wolf the Sona Rupting Cannon. More coffee. Sash Jiggle. What is this? Jiggle? Okay, and the foil coffee. Perfection. Oh that's so funny all the different signi that are like uh, inspired by everyday items or by food. There are a lot of a lot of funny character designs in Vicross. Quinn. Kono Toxin. Milulun. Iona Ivan. Put the top two cards of your deck into your trash. Then add two target non-colorless Sydney that do not share a color from your trash to your hand. Okay, so you cannot get guards back. Oh, we get a foil coin. Beautiful. Where are my sleeves? Yeah, we got the LR. We got the two pieces. I haven't counted the number of super rares. Maybe there is still a chance for... Okay, MC Lion as a witch. This is peak design. I need this in foil. MC Lion, witch. Okay, another super rare. It's Aya, and there is so much text. Uh, when the Sydney leaves the field outside of your main phase, you may pay one blue and put the bottom card of your deck into your trash. Then, if the card put into your trash this way is level 1, draw 3 cards. If it is level 2, your opponent discards 3 cards. Oh, okay. If it is level 3 or more, vanish target Sydney on your opponent's field. If it is a spell, look at your opponent's hand and choose a card. Your opponent discards it. Enter ability is look at the bottom card of your deck. Okay, like there are a lot of cards in, in white usually. Probably also in blue, but I don't remember so many at the moment. But I remember some in, in white. That lets you like look at the top five cards of your deck and then you can put... Uh, Two or like you can put three of them into your hand and the rest under your deck. 
in the order you want another Mew. Oh, this is the, the Mew foil box. And another code pure look. But yeah, you can you can do a lot of stuff that lets you put the cards on the bottom of your deck in a certain order, so it's definitely doable to get the effect that you want. Sash undulation and tick tick <laughs> tick tick nanashi. Yeah, I hope in my in my other boxes I get a LR Nanashi next to Piolo. This would be great. Her design with the sword is so nice in this set. Wolf Dishona and another super rare. This time it's oh no, it's Anne. And a beautiful kimono. Uh enter ability, choose a color. During your opponent's turn, the Signy gains shadow the color chosen with the enter ability. Oh. Huh. Auto turn twice per turn. Whenever one or more cards are discarded from your hand, or one or more cards from your inner zone are put into your trash by one of your opponent's effect, draw a card or energy. One. Oh. Yeah, and it's twice per turn. It's not restricted to like my turn or my opponent's turn. So that's not bad. Uh, seven zero, nice. Draw yourself a card. Card. Iona, Mugen, Code Pure Look Advance, and Carnival. And last, last booster pack for this unboxing. I yeah, I hope you you join my live stream or like yeah. For more V Cross or TCG content, I I open more than V Cross, of course. But yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, remember, fine, beautiful witchy. Okay, this is gorgeous. I was just saying, like maybe I want to pull a, a LR remember, and then I pull at least a parallel for remember. Oh, this is so cute. This is such a good character design, but yeah. Please check out my channel for more videos and check out my, my partner store if you want to order something. And let's end with a Force of Will pack. Still searching for my Anubis, which I will never pull, I guess. Not today. So yeah, see you in my next unboxing. Bye.